Thank you very much, uh, Barry, uh, to Bob, uh, to uh, so many distinguished guests, including Air Chief Marshal Houston, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Smith, uh, the former Deputy Premier, Paul Lucas, my parliamentary colleague, uh, Mark McArdle, the Deputy Mayor and the Mayor, but most importantly, members of the ex-service community here in Caloundra, who collectively, under Bob's leadership, have been able to place this helicopter where it will be able to be recognised and respected and admired forever. I was interested to hear Air Chief Marshal Houston say that he has flown this particular aircraft on 18 occasions. And while I never say never in life, uh, I didn't really expect Air Chief Marshal Houston to uh, shin up the post, uh, jump in again at the controls and fly it away to greater service. The Huey has been around uh, from about the time that most men here started to learn to shave. Just close your eyes for a moment and picture a large flock of geese or ducks flying in, found in formation and this will give you some idea how large numbers of these helicopters looked when they were in service. The Huey has long been the image of military service, with no greater representation than in the Australian song by Red Gun, I was only 19. It's the second most produced helicopter in the world. 16,000 of them uh, were in fact made and it's been used by probably nine or 10 uh, National Defence Forces. It's a wonderful reminder of the Battle of Long Tan and what we as today's Australians owe to men and women who have served our nation so well in so many spheres of conflict over so many years. I've spoken in the Federal Parliament on a number of occasions on the importance of the Battle of Long Tan and it's wonderful to have here today uh, people who served and whose lives were saved by the aircraft uh, now so wonderfully positioned uh, above me. I would, on behalf of the community, like to thank the Caloundra RSL for what it does, not just the wonderful facilities it provides, but the fact that in so many uh, areas of community activity, the RSL is at the lead. And the positioning of this Iroquois helicopter where it is, so beautifully uh, lit at night, uh, so prominent for people visiting the RSL to view and others driving around to see and admire, uh, I think is an opportunity for all of us to recognise what we collectively as a nation owe to all of those people who have helped to make this country the country that is, in our view, the very best country in the world. Congratulations to Bob, congratulations to Barry, congratulations to everyone in the Caloundra RSL, but even more importantly, congratulations to the men and women who have made sure that this nation is free.